Why exactly did the Gemini Titan not use a launch escape tower? You guys asked, so I'm going to answer today on Vintage Space. The launch escape tower is the familiar lattice-like structure that sat atop the Mercury and Apollo capsules. Both systems were different, but they functioned in more or less the same way. In the event of an emergency, say a rocket explosion on the launch pad or a disaster shortly after liftoff, solid rocket motors in the launch escape tower would pull the spacecraft clear of the rocket. The idea was that these rockets could carry the spacecraft far enough away from the fireball and high enough into the atmosphere where the parachutes could deploy and the astronauts would be able to land safely like they would during a regular landing. It was a simple way to give astronauts an extra defense should something go terribly wrong during launch. In both Mercury and Apollo missions, the launch escape tower was jettisoned when it was no longer useful. But the Gemini spacecraft did not have a launch abort tower. Instead, the two astronauts inside the spacecraft were sitting in ejection seats. If anything went wrong on the launch pad or after launch, the commander would pull a D-ring and both astronauts would be blown clear of the spacecraft. They would have personal parachutes that would help them land safely on the ground. The rationale behind this decision is actually kind of interesting. The Gemini spacecraft was originally designed to land on a runway using a paraglider wing. If for some reason there was a problem during this gliding landing, a backup parachute wouldn't help. It would make the most sense for the astronauts to be able to eject and land by personal parachutes, much like a pilot did. So that's part of the reason. Another is because Jim Chamberlain, chief of the Gemini program office, really didn't like launch escape systems. He thought the towers were needlessly bulky, and ultimately it was just more mass to take into orbit that you really didn't need on the mission. NASA was already looking ahead at more complex missions to do with its very sophisticated Gemini spacecraft, so the idea was to keep its initial launch weight low so that later variations could use heavier and more complex systems. It's also the fact that because the Gemini Titan launch vehicle used hypergalls instead of rocket propellant and liquid oxygen, the fireball from an exploding Titan was actually smaller than the fireball from a Saturn. This meant that in the event of a launch explosion, astronauts would not need to go nearly as far away to safely escape the fireball. They wouldn't need the launch escape tower taking the entire spacecraft really far away from the fireball. They could get away with the lighter ejection seats. Ejection seats were something Max Faget, one of the lead designers on the Mercury spacecraft, really, really hated. And ultimately, the launch escape tower, as we know, made a comeback with the Apollo program. And fun fact, Apollo's launch escape tower was more powerful than the Redstone rocket that launched Al Shepard on his Freedom 7 flight in 1961. So does that answer the question as to why there is no launch escape system on Gemini? Let me know further questions in the comment section below, as well as other things you have questions about and ideas for future episodes. Be sure to follow me on Twitter for daily vintage space updates and and with new episodes going up every Friday, don't forget to subscribe right here.